In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down some really good pressure, honestly. It's probably one of the best ways to run the 46 defense. And I want to talk about this uh, because I actually was put on to one of these, one of the piece of this tip from my man 46 gang, who's a member of our Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to jump in Discord. It's one of the best places, in my opinion, to be able to grow and improve because I'm learning from members every single day in the Discord. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Cody, and my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better in Madden NFL 21. I do that through posting four different types of videos a day, each of them that are designed to help you with some type of tactic, tip, or concept that you can apply to your game to help you win more games in Madden 21. All right, guys, so 46, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into your depth chart, and essentially, you're going. this is going to require some depth chart adjustments. But basically, you're going to put whoever you want to be your safeties at safety. So for me, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to make that Raven Green and Will Redmond. Then at corner, what I'm going to do is I am going to put my man Perry Nickerson, who they just got. Uh, I'm going to put Jair Alexander here. And I'm actually going to put uh, Holman, 93 speed. So as you can see here, got really, really solid speed. And then last but not least, I'm going to put my man Adrian Amos uh, in here. Or you can put Darnell Savage. Actually, I probably put Darnell Savage. So I got my fastest corners in here. And then that leaves me the ability to put um, to put uh, the, the, the Amos in at safety. Linebacker, your middle linebacker needs to be your fastest linebacker. So whoever your fastest linebacker is, uh, and I'm going to put it, it's going to be Ty Summers. So I'm going to put Ty Summers at middle linebacker. And then um, linemen, you can kind of do however you want to do them, uh, and we'll show you we'll show you what this looks like. But what I like to do is make sure, uh, and we can do this in RB subs. But essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in four six normal speed package. You see here, it's going to basically put a secondary on the field. Now, what you want to do is you want to put your best pass rushers uh, in these positions. So part of the challenge is you've got to make sure that your best pass rushers aren't also your starting linebackers, right? Because you want to be able to RB sub them in. So when you go into your roster, what you want to do is you want to just put backups in. It doesn't matter really who they are, just as long as you're not going to be using them uh, for anything. So we're going to put a couple backups in there at linebacker. And then what you'll see is we'll be able to um, – if we come out on 4-6 normal speed package, we can RB sub these guys in here. So what I'm going to do is you want to put your best blitzer on the left side. So that's the Darius Smith for the Packers. Preston Smith's going to go over here. And then these two guys are going to be your nose tackle. So I like to put Dean Lowry here and Kenny Clark here. That's your setup. And you're going to come out in 4-6 normal. And then you're going to basically audible to 46 bear under cover to man. That's literally all you're going to do is you're going to audible to 46 bear under cover to man. And then you're going to pinch your line, crash your line down. And then from there... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this defender right here and put him in a QB spy, QB contain rush, and then I'm just going to use her, um, use her uh, Redmond here. And what you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, you will get some decent disengages. Now, one thing I did forget to tell you off the jump is whichever side the running back's on, that's the side you want a quarterback spy. So 46 bear, cover two man, get the setup in. Just like so. And I like to I think crashing them to the left actually works a little bit better. So I'm gonna throw these two guys in zones and I'm gonna use her Amos in this situation. And then we're just going to take this left side guy, put him in a quarterback spy. You can man up uh, against Zinc if you want. And then we're gonna just QB contain. And at the snap of the ball, what you'll see here is you'll see we'll get some decent disengages, some quick sheds from the 46 bear under. One of the other things that you can do uh, with this is if you audible to a zone play, let's say you audible to, um, let's say you audible to like cover three, right? Well, same setups. So we're going to pinch our line, crash our line to the left, press coverage. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're going to drop that linebacker into a zone. We're going to drop that right of screen linebacker into a QB spy. We're going to drop that right of screen defensive end into a purple zone, QB contain rush. And now you'll see. Uh, we'll get those glitchy disengages as you see there the pressure pretty much comes in as long as you spy One guy either on the right side or the left side and typically it works a little bit better um, From bear under in my opinion if you spy them on 
uh, if the guy is on the right side. And I actually really think spying the linebacker makes a big difference. If you spy the linebacker, um, this pressure is going to come in a lot more consistent for you than if you spy the defensive lineman. Let me show you what it looks like when you just when you just um, spy the defensive lineman. So we'll just do this out of cover two. And you'll see here, we'll just spy that left side, left of screen lineman, just like so. And the snap of the ball, which you'll see is you see how the pressure does come in, but it's a little bit glitchy. It's just not as clean as it is. And I 100%, 100, 100, 110, 100,000% recommend to crash your line to the left or to the right. Don't crash them down. I find that that does not work as consistent. You see here when you crash left, you get those quick instant disengages. So this is a disengage blitz, uh, and I understand a lot comes with that. If you're the offense and you want to stop this blitz, let's say maybe you're facing something like this, I do want to let you know all you have to do is run a play action play and just leave the play action on the play. So you'll see here we'll set up everything just like we did for force expander. But this is a way you can run this disengage blitz with basically – um, heavy, heavy pressure personnel. But you see the disengage blitz, yes, yeah, Zedari Smith did get a shed, but he didn't get in. Now, again, the coverage is really good from this, but, um, you know, it's just a really solid pressure all around, in my opinion, really solid play. But that's how you pick it up. So if you guys haven't jumped in the Discord, be sure to do that, guys. This is a product of me learning from players in the Discord, 4-6 gang, known for his 4-6 defense and getting better every single day that's what the discord's about you know madden i'm not the best player in the world you're probably not the best player in the world either to be honest but in my opinion we can all come together and learn how to really improve at this game that we all love to play which is madden 21 so thank you guys for your time and we will see you over on discord i got a couple other videos coming today so make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you haven't already be sure to subscribe i got some other videos you can check out on screen and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock eastern time so uh be sure to come by the stream i'd love to see you